Hey, it's Nikki. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Now, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Today's DIY could either be placed on a shelf or even hung on a wall. So at first, I thought of just doing it all white like this because I really liked it. But then, my daughter convinced me to add some dark on the corners right there to give it more of a character. And she likes that rustic feel. I'm also going to be sharing how I made this wreath made out of coffee filters, a wire hanger, and some hot glue gun. So stay tuned guys and enjoy this video. Thanks. So I got these 5x7 picture frames from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking it out of the package and I'm not going to be using the back so I'm just going to put that to the side and the paper that I'm taking out of it, I'm not going to throw it away right now because I'm going to use it for the front so that when I'm painting the picture frame, I don't get paint on the glass. All I did was cut a little bit off the edges so that it could fit. Now I'm applying the hot glue on the picture frame so that they can stick together. And then I'm going to add more glue and I'm going to attach that popsicle, big old popsicle stick to it so that it could have more support just in case I decide to hang it on the wall. Since the surface isn't even, I am applying a lot of hot glue. I want to make sure that the popsicle uh, stick really is going to stick to it. So that's why I'm applying so much. And of course, I'm using Waverly chalk paint and it is in the color um, sheepskin, I believe. And I'm just applying the first coat. It does take two coats, but I'm not being too picky with it because I do want it to have that rustic feel kind of. So I'm not being over the top with that second coat. Now while the first coat is drying, I'm going to start on the last three picture frames that I'm doing. So I'm just going to repeat the process with gluing everything together, adding the popsicle sticks. And once I have that done, I will apply the uh, chalk paint on these as well. I am actually making this DIY to sit on a shelf but I'm gonna go ahead and add some twine and hot glue it because I might want to hang it one day so I just want it to be done and ready for if I ever do want to do that and all I'm doing is I hot glued it to the frame the twine and then I'm gonna put a piece of popsicle over it to put more pressure and I apply a lot of hot glue because of course it's uneven and I wanted to make sure that the popsicle was going to stick to the twine and the picture frame. So that's what you see me doing right now. And then I'm going to do it to the other side as well. And it really does work. I do have it hanging just to try it out right now. And it hasn't fell, it hasn't broken or gotten loose. And whenever I did have a problem area where it wasn't wanting to stick too good, all I did was pick it up and apply more hot glue to it to make sure that it was really gonna stick and you can feel it if it's gonna stick or not so just work with it if this is what you want to do or if you want to apply it another way go ahead but this is how I did it and it's working okay for me and now I'm doing a little quick lift check shaking it around it's not loose it's good so I'm gonna leave it now I'm just gonna turn these over and apply the hot glue to connect both of them together now. Just adding that pressure to make sure they're really sticking really nice and good together. Now I decided to go ahead and add a lot of hot glue and connect it with more popsicle sticks since we're connecting two, um, two different frames together and I didn't want it to fall apart or get weak while it was hanging so I'm applying a lot of hot glue okay so once I turned it over of course since I applied so much hot glue there was some that seeped through so all I did was peel it off it came right off 
I didn't have any problems with it. I took off as much as I could and then I did go over it with a little more paint so it can just blend in. Now I'm removing all the paper and I'm noticing that there was some paint that did get on the glass. So I'm just going to go over it with a paper towel, a little damp paper towel, and I'm just going to scrub it off on the areas that did get paint on it. So since this part is ready, I'm going to leave it right there while I go work on my coffee filter wreath. And I really like the way that white looks. Okay, so get you a hanger and some strong pliers that are going to be able to break the hanger apart. And I'm cutting it on the part where it curves, as you see. Because I'm going to make a small wreath, so I don't need all of that. Now I'm going to start trying to straighten it out. So all the hard curves that it has, I'm just going to straighten it out and start forming the circle for the wreath. It's a little hard. I end up using my stomach <laughs> so that I can have like help pushing against it. And once I figure out how big I want it, I'm going to get the pliers and I'm going to turn the wire over each other about two to three times so that it doesn't come undone. And whatever wire does not want to turn anymore because it gets real little, you won't be able to turn the rest of it. I end up just cutting it off the little ends at the end I just cut them off with the plier and I make sure that it's real sturdy you gotta tug at it and push at it to make sure it's not gonna come undone and then I'm trying to fix the uh, the circle so it could be more rounded so it's just a lot of adjusting and I get the pliers and I try to squeeze the ends as close as I can to each other so it's not popping out and it doesn't cut the coffee filters when I start to add them. So I just get a coffee filter, I fold it in half, and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. And then I do a fold over and then another fold over. So it looks kinda like the leather the letter S. Then I'm applying hot glue on the areas that would open. And I'm going back seeing some other open areas and I'm just gonna hot glue them shut. And I try to do a bit of a closer look here, so you can see how the folding is, and where I'm just adding the glue. And basically the glue is just so that it won't come undone. Now time to apply them. I'm going to show you two different ways and you'll see two different wreaths. This is if I want it to be like a full look. And you see that I put two together front in front of each other and then I apply the glue in the middle that's gonna make them stick together and then you apply it on the bottom so they stick together and then you just cut off whatever's left over but I want a, a skinny wreath so I'm just gonna use one and fold it and I want to make them really I want to make it really little so I'm gonna push the hanger kind of high that's pretty high and then I just apply the hot glue on top and on bottom of the wire hanger so it won't come undone. And I'm just going to cut off whatever is um, going past the coffee filter. And then I squish it together so you get that, that kind of flowery look. It looks kind of like a flower. And then I'm just going to repeat the process all over. And it's turned towards me. You don't want to leave it, you know high up like it like you start off with you turn it so that it'll be facing towards you all the way around and I'm making sure to apply a lot of pressure because it can come undone and then I'm gonna scoot it over and squish it and you want to squish it pretty good and any parts that look like they're coming undone like right there I'm just gonna add hot glue and um, glue it together and I end up doing that throughout the whole wreath. There's a lot of gluing you um, you end up doing just on the parts that you feel that it needs it. And I'm just going to repeat the process all over. And it's really not that time consuming. Not if you have the coffee filters already ready. I made a bunch of them so that I wouldn't have to stop and do folding while I'm gluing and then stopping to do more folding. I just made a bunch of them and that way I'm just sticking to the gluing part. I think the hardest thing through this whole wreath 
is cutting the hanger and twisting it. Everything else is easy and it goes by pretty fast. I want to say it took me about 30, 30 to 40 minutes to make this wreath, which to me it isn't bad. Um, I made another one and I made it even faster. So once you get a rhythm and how to do things, it's, it goes by quicker and quicker and quicker. You'll even start coming up with other creative ways to make it look more um, full, not flat. You don't want the coffee filters to end up looking flat. So as you're going, you'll just be messing with it, um, pushing them together, and gluing certain papers to certain papers. Now as you can see, the wreath on the right side is more bushier. That's the one where I put two coffee filters in front of each other. And the left one is the one that I'm going to use for this little project. And I wanted it to look more littler and tiny. I didn't want it to be overwhelming. I'm just going to add the twine and attach it to the back by adding super glue. Kind of the, well, the same method that I did um, earlier. I'm just going to glue it and then add a bunch of hot glue so that I can um, apply the popsicle stick on it. And then I just realized that I needed to turn the popsicle stick because that will be showing in uh, once I have the decor hanging. So I'm turning it right there. But yeah, I end up doing that. And of course, apply a lot, a lot of pressure because you really want it to stick. So now I'm just cutting off the twine that was left hanging because you will be able to see that once you hang it up. I end up finding some better scissors and cutting even lower. Okay, so this is it. This is just all white. Um, I showed my daughter and she was like, you need to add some black to it on the corners. She wanted a rustic look. so. I went ahead and tried it out and you see me painting here and I did make a lot of mistakes but thank goodness with paint you can always go back with the chalk paint and kind of clean it up a bit. So I end up liking it because it brings out the black and other decor that we have in the house and I'm just trying to add it in there somehow. So this is it you guys. I really really love it. I like how it's tying in with everything else and yeah and you can also spray paint the wreath if you want to if you don't want it white you can spray paint it whatever color you want you could even glue flowers to it and make it look more spring or summer like or whatever but as of right now i'm just liking just the white wreath i hung it on the wall so you can get an idea of how it would look i know it's missing a little something but i don't know i like it i'm happy with it and pleased i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. God bless.